what is going on youtube it's your boy nevin the barber and in today's youtube video we're going to be going over a burst fade with a textured top so with the first step in today's video we're going to get right into it using my gamma hitters just to carve in my first bald line and you guys can see that i did carve in my first bald line in a circular shape right around my client's ear and i didn't bring it too high nor too low where this is going to be basically about a mid burst taper and it's very important that when you guys are carving in your first bald line that you get it nice and symmetrical as possible just because this is going to uh, be the foundation of your fade and it will determine how the rest of the cut lays out so for the next step in the fade i am using my rebels with the lever all the way open and this is cutting the hair down to a 0.5 length and again with this guideline right here we are going to make it as consistent as possible following our previous guideline with the trimmers and we're not going to erase this guideline quite yet we're just going to leave it and move right into the next guideline using our one and a half guard all the way closed so this is now cutting the hair down to a 1.5 length and you guys can see that we have our three guidelines, our skin, our 0.5 and our 1.5. So we're gonna be blending the 1.5 into the bulk of the hair just by doing clipper over comb with the guard on. I do have the one and a half guard on while doing this. And now that we have that guideline blended into the bulk, we'll go ahead and get into the next step with the half guard all the way open, flicking out that middle guideline blending the 0.5 into the 1.5 and this is a very easy consistent method if you guys can get this technique down i would highly recommend it just because your fades will come out a lot blurrier and cleaner but you guys can see that little by little i'm just working out that guideline just using the corner of my blade i personally like to use the corner of my blade rather than the full blade when it comes to cutting hair just because i could get a little bit more of a detailed cut when you guys are doing this it'll disperse out the hair a little bit easier and like i said i did start with the lever all the way open i'm just closing the lever one notch at a time and every time you guys close the the lever you do want to shorten your cutting stroke just because it is going to be cutting the hair a tad bit shorter but little by little this blend is coming together it's very important that you guys are patient and consistent with your cutting stroke because this is an industry of art so you guys have to of course master the skill set and just be patient with your technique that way you can all blend and come in together the way that you want it to and for the last step in this fade, I went ahead and used the lever all the way closed with no guard. And we're gonna start by cornering out that last skin line with the corner of our blade. And we'll begin opening up the lever one notch at a time. So we're now blending up into the fade rather than coming down. And you guys can see little by little, the blend is all coming together. Like I said, when doing this, you guys just wanna use the corner of the blade following that guideline that you guys created. That way the blend can, you know, blend out real nice and evenly throughout the scalp. And just be patient with it. Some hair texture is gonna be a little bit harder than others. So if you guys find yourself struggling to blend out some areas, just be patient with it, or maybe jump to another guard if you feel like the previous guard isn't knocking out that spot for you. But little by little, you guys can see that with the few simple steps that we did, we were able to get a nice blurry fade. And now that our fade is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the lineup. So whenever I do my lineups, I always like to begin by doing the C cut first before I hit the box in the front line. 
And when I do my C cups, you guys can see that I started at the top of my C cup and I met it connecting from the bottom point. And after I have that done, I'll go ahead and just punch in my front line with the box. And when you guys are doing this, it's very important that you keep it right at the natural hairline, of course, while keeping it nice and crispy at the same time. And like I said earlier, barbering is a form of art and it's very important that you guys are symmetrical with your technique and your system on both sides. So here you guys can see me using my bronze series nine shaver just to knock everything down to the skin. And now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my client's hairline with the razor. So every time I use the razor, I do lean my client all the way back just so I can shave up against the grain of the skin. My client did want his eyebrows cleaned up as well. This is always a good extra service to add if you guys wanna you know, make a few bucks on top of the haircut service. I would highly recommend adding eyebrows. And after we have that done, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few final touches on my blend. I am using the Gamma Hitters right here. If you guys wanna check them out, feel free to use my code NEVIN10 on the Gamma website to save a discount on your clippers. And again, one more time, just using my Bronze Series 9 shaver, making sure that I have all the stubble knocked down to the skin. And it's very important that you guys do this just to make sure that you get the most contrast in your fade, ensuring that the skin really blends out into the hair. And one more time using my gamma hitters just to blend that shaver line into the zero. And all these little details do make a big difference. So never be afraid to go back and detail your work. And I do like to finish off my haircuts by doing some sheer over comb. Basically what this does is just gives the, the top of the fade a cleaner transition into the bulk right above the occipital and parietal ridge area. So you guys can see that I'm just rolling the comb off of the parietal ridge using my shears to knock off any flyaways or any last dark spots that I see above my fade. And I do like to go over the lineup as well just to knock off any flyaways that might be sticking out. And you guys can see I'm doing the same exact thing on the other side, being sure to roll out that comb off the parietal ridge that way we don't create a gash in the bulk of the top of the fade. And I do like to do some point cutting as well. What this does is basically give a more defined cut on those dark areas that you may notice in the blend. And one more time, just cleaning up my client's eyebrows with the razor. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use the diffuser on my client's hair just to give it more texture and create more volume. It's very important that you give your client a final styled look before they get out your chair. That way they know what to do with their hair, you know, when they get home and they know how to style it. But that is about it for today's burst fade haircut. If you guys learned anything in today's video, Please be sure to hit that like button, drop a comment. Please let me know what you guys want to see next and hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And with that being said, it's your boy Nevin the Barber and I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one.